Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hearts Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Today is Monday, December the 14th, 2020, and I'm just coming on here for Vlogmas Day 14 uh, to bring a little Christmas cheer. Mm. <laughs> so it's about 6.30 p.m. here in Pinson, Alabama which is a little northeast of Birmingham, Alabama. And I think it has dropped to about 40 degrees outside after being like 70 yesterday. 70 was our high for the past couple of days. So anyway, I'm just sitting here working on this red thing again. And yes, I ripped it out again. And now it is um, another bag of day pattern called woman's easy capelet or shawl or something i think it's pattern number 267 i will link it below but it has worked up pretty quickly i hear mr whiny in the background i hope he doesn't come in here and disturb us <laughs> anyway so i think this is the one i'm going to want i mean actually it goes around like this and I think it it'll button this way and then it'll come down your shoulders you know you can make it as long as you want to but it's moving pretty quickly so ah attack of the yarn oh yeah bet you can't do that in a million years oh lord anyway so I did this much sitting at the mechanic today for three years so hours. I ripped out the other thing. I had done like I was into the fifth row, I believe. Let's see. Foundation. Let's see. First row. Dang phone. Um, oh, that was a friend that I sent the cowbell Santa to. Oh, he's so excited. I knew he would be. I knew he would love it. As soon as I saw that Santa, I knew who it belonged to. Anyway, I was on, I had done first row of double crochet, then back post row, then a front post row. And I had done, I had started fourth row of single crochet, triple crochet, single crochet, triple. And I just kept getting my hook stuck in that triple crochet so I got angry with it and that thing was like 180 stitches wide so you know that didn't but it was just killing me dragging so anyway I found this and then I started out with whatever number crystal said like 67 chains but then um, I changed it to 81 just because I knew I didn't want it tied around my neck and it is, like I say, I think it's um, tutorial number 267, but I will link it below. And I think I'll be able to pull this one off before we go to the ballet this weekend. Um, if I can come up with something to wear, I don't know yet what I'm going to wear. Ballet, you don't just wear your blue jeans and t-shirts, you know, in the symphony. But anyway, this is basically um, V stitches and then double V stitches with chains. Well, yeah, V stitches have chains anyway. Uh, so I think it's going to work up and um, pretty quickly. It has so far. And then I think I can still trim it in white even without a hood. I'm going to have to probably forego the hood. Forego. <laughs> what kind of words am I twisting up tonight? But, um, so yeah, I'm hoping to finish this one before Sunday. What are y'all working on? Y'all working on, I'm sure y'all are working on Christmas for other people. <laughs> I'm just working on Christmas for me. <laughs> 
besides all the other Christmas I have had, as I said earlier, <laughs> I sat at the mechanic today for like, on my off day, three to four hours. And added another $300 to my Christmas I've had this year. <laughs> so far, I've had to uh, fix a leak up at the well and run a new hydrant to the outside because my calf stall... We have a, I have a calf stall up there in the upper shed that the people that lived here before had calves or whatever. So um, there ha it had developed a leak. And I'm going to have to buy me... I got this from... This is 6.0 from... Um, Chicky and... I'll have to find her name. And look at my fancies. <laughs> Look at my fancy uh, project bag. Well, it's all I could find as I was running out the door to the mechanic. What was her name? I loved her packages, and I did my first little... I can't remember. Anyway, I got to find me a 6.0 in a clover. A um, couple other things I'm working on, I'll go ahead and show you, is... Well, first of all, I'm drinking tea. Oh, look, out of my bag of day cup. How fitting, since I'm doing one of her patterns. <laughs> ah. Drinking me some fruity tea. It is... Tavive Black Tea Apple and Cranberry. And it's pretty good. Uh, black tea doesn't really hold fruity taste like um, the green tea does, but it's still pretty good. I just wanted... I usually drink coffee until bedtime. <laughs> Not this time. And then something else I had been working on, which is another crystal pattern, I do believe, is... Of course, it's not finished. Her waffle beanie... And scarf set. And I'll link those below as well. I think they're pretty new. Well, no wonder I can't find my J-hooks. They're all stuffed in projects. I've got like four Ks. As well as a Clover and more K. But this is squished because it's in one of my... Now, this is one of my project bags that I made. And I have a few uh, made that I could sell, so I need to get that together and let y'all know about it. Because I know how everybody loves project bags. But this is uh, my chickens, and it's got brown corduroy on the bottom. This is one of the first ones I made, I think. Yeah, because it's got a, a liner that I really didn't want to make to sell. And it's got like a heavier cord that I don't really... <laughs> I wasn't going to sell to anyone. But I do have some others, and I'll have to get those together. If you notice, I do have my background fixed finally. Yay, Renee, I fixed one. I cleaned off one wall. Camera's up there, Cindy. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to make this. I just haven't... Even, of course, I made it this much and then just changed projects, right? Well, that's about the time I picked up the turtles, I think. But neither one of them are far from finished. The hat just needs cinching together. And this color is Red Heart with Love, I think. Red Heart with Love, number four. And this color's Cameo. And between the hat and the scarf so far, this is my second, my second skein, I think. I'll check that to make sure. I'm not sure the um, tutorial numbers on these, but I will get that information before I post this video and let you know. And what I, um, I 
also had bought some of these faux fur pom-poms to go on hats. And you get like 24 of them for... I know I have autumn and fall stuff up there, but hey, it took me this long just to get that up. Ah. So anyway, I got all these fuzzy balls, pom-poms, for like, there's 24 of them for $12. So that's like 50 cents a piece. And um, there's a pretty pink one right in there. I'm not sure, I'm sure, of course, my lighting is totally crap. And I like these. Use the crinkle. I like that. Whoa, looks like gizmo. <laughs> I like these that are kind of variegated and look like wild, like Himalayan cats with the dark tips on them. But that pink one's real pretty, but it's way down in there. Look at that blonde one. So anyway, I'm going to, um, I wish I had like a black one with pink tips to put on this one, but I'll uh, find something to put on it. So yeah, I ordered these from Amazon. I'll try to get the link to that and put it down below. Um, I'm not affiliate or any, anything like that. I think I just got fuzz in my eyeball. So what else? What else do I have? Drink my tea. And my bag a day. I think that was the first, um, when I first started doing YouTube or watching YouTube, I think a bag a day was the first one I ordered. Tea is really good. Cranberry and apple. Um, okay. And then yesterday, when I was sitting in there, I was sitting there waiting on Chinese. He gave me, he gave me my first Christmas present. Well, except the ones to me. But, you know, property tax and, um, new outdoor hydrants and running lines to the well <laughs> and car parts don't really count, do they? Yes, because I bought them for me. Anyway, the guy at the Chinese place gave me a bamboo calendar. I'm sure somewhere on here it says 2021. But anyway. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. I was like, oh, thank you. And then, now what? What else we got? I think in some of my further videos, I'm going to just sit around and wa open a box or two at a time. <laughs> I like this wood grain, though, don't you? It took me forever to get my lines straight. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The struggle is real, y'all. Okay, and then... Let's see, I think y'all had seen that. Yeah, you did. I mean, I've got, honestly, like six or maybe seven boxes each of Darn Good Yarn, Knit Crate, and Tea Doddles that needs opening, as well as a box from Edna, two boxes from P Premier, all of my yarn crawl, yarn hop stuff for two years. You, I didn't even show it to you last year. Camera's up there, Cindy. But anyway, enough about me. <laughs> I did just have on a black top, but I got cool. So I made this last year. This is one of those things I put together and took apart several times before I decided what it was going to be. Because I got this bulky stuff in some of those mystery bags or surprise bags or something. I didn't know what to do with it. But then I had this camo that I mixed with some of it because some of it had this tiny little fleck of green in it and it was just enough. So I guess really all I have left to do is to draw for these puzzles, huh? <laughs> I need some more tea. But my water is in here. Um, so this is going to be a little wonky because I have to, I have already copied my URL. I'm going to have to do this on my phone 
while showing, and I'm just hoping that the words will show up since I have that glare back there. Okay, maybe if I tilt it like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Why is that Lowe's ad coming up? Ooh. There'd be no Lowe's around here. And it won't go away. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm not going to eliminate duplicates because... Um... Some people put, where is, get past all these disclaimers. I may have to do a separate video just for, I didn't even see where to copy. Okay. YouTube random comment picker, okay? Excuse the awkward si silence. Random winner generator. That's dragging. Well, it said this was a random comment picker. Okay, finally. Okay, so I've got this thing. And I'm about to paste the URL from the video where I told y'all to put which puzzle you'd like. And that's why I'm saying I'm not going to delete um, duplicates because some people did one comment that said donuts and one uh, comment might have said metropolis so i'm not going to eliminate duplicates um i think overall i think i looked earlier there was only 50 comments so that's pretty good uh chances one in 15 it seems like one in 16.66 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I pasted the URL in there for the video. I'm going to have to come up with a better way of doing this. There's my URL. If you can see it before the glare hits it. There we go. Okay. And then get YouTube comments. There were 50. I don't know if you all see it all. 50 comments. Okay. And then I'm going to filter comments based on a specific text. So the first one I'm going to do is Metropolis. Nope, first one I'm going to do, yeah, Metropolis. Okay, let's try it again. M-E-T-R-O-P-O-L-I-S. So now, the ones that said that had Metropolis in it was only 28. So that's not bad. Those are not bad odds. You see? Okay, 28. All right, so... I'm not as smooth as Crystal here with this, so we're going to try to get up here where you can see it and hit start. So, Metropolis winner is... Ah, oh, Teresa Patton, Sis T, Sweet T. This one says, Metropolis is my favorite of the two, but I would love either one of them. Them donuts look delicious, which I had some right now. I've been doing puzzles my whole life. My mom and my family all do them. Ha ha, my sweet boy Goliath thought he scored some wrapping papers that made me smile. Great to see you. Thanks for sharing. Love, sweet tea. So, 
winner of the Metropolis is Sweet Tea. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go back and of course if um, I don't know if this thing would possibly if the same person gets drawn again then of course we're going to draw somebody else because I know Sweet Tea would want it shared. So I'm going to put donuts in <gasps> my wall's falling <laughs> I need to hurry oh my gosh so here we go I'm going to there were only 23 out of those 50 how's that even possible so 23 out of the 50 if you can see that, it had donuts in theirs. So here we go. We're going to hit pick another winner. Uh, uh oh, it picked one while I wasn't looking. Okay. But here is the winner of the first donuts puzzle. Okay, now here's... I'll show you in a minute. Okay. First donut puzzle winner is... Donna Mako. <laughs> she says, Hi, sweetie. So good to see you. Both puzzles are beautiful, but the delish donuts is my favorite. It is hard to believe that Christmas Eve is just two weeks from today. Yes, the weather is crazy. We're having a heat wave right now and possible snow flurries on Monday and Tuesday. Still praying for you and your mama. Take care and stay safe. Much love. God bless. So Donna Mako gets the first donuts. Ah, can you see? Gets the first donuts. I didn't know it was going to be choosing it while...